The point I want to make is this is not just about politics. This is about big business, right? Rupert mm -hmm. Murdoch, the media mogul who controls Fox News, has a personal relationship with the president. The Democratic Congress might want to find out what favors potentially did the Murdoch family get because of this access. I've reported in the past that uh, Trump asked Rupert Murdoch to submit names for the FCC chairman. A close Murdoch associate told me that, in fact, Murdoch, R Rupert Murdoch reached out to Donald Trump and asked if his ex-wife, Wendy uh, Murdoch, was a Chinese spy. And, and and the allegation is that Murdoch, uh, that Trump talked to the intelligence agencies about her connections to the Chinese government. Wait, so, so if is that, have you reported that? Yes, I mean, I'm, that's what sources are telling me. So wait, but has that been print yet? No. Wait, say that again. Just, I want to make sure I understand this. The, the allegation is what? That sources close to Murdoch told me that in a conversation with the president, he asked him if the intelligence agencies could look into whether his ex-wife was a Chinese asset. And, and this is in the context of a divorce between the proceedings? Well, they've, yeah, they've already been right. long divorced, but this was just, you know, saying, hey, this is my ex-wife. Could you look into that? That's a crazy thing. Yeah, now I don't know if Trump actually did follow through on that. And as Jane Mayer reported, Trump also, you know, vented about we should get the Justice Department to stop the CNN merger. Nothing was followed up on that. Right. But the fact that these conversations and these, these mutual relationships are happening is something that crosses the line from just access right. journalism to whether there is an abuse of power. Yeah, and the conversations happening, which we know are just yeah. documented between Murdoch, Murdoch. and Benjamin. Yeah. Well, let, let me just say one more thing, Angela, because you talk about the propaganda. I will say that having watched Fox News in two 2003 in the run-up to the Iraq war, it, you know, it, that was state TV then, too. I mean, it would make North Korean programmers blush if you go back and look at what they were doing <laughs> to sell the war at that point. That's true, but the one thing I would point out that makes that a little bit different is that a lot of places got sort of, were sort of fell into the trap of bringing on, <laughs> right. of bringing on military. Was